Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, this is the long-awaited baby shower video. In my last video, I showed you how I handmade all of the centerpieces and I promised in that video that I would bring you some actual footage of how the shower turned out. So, this was the focal point of the shower. This was the backdrop for the uh, dessert table and the shower theme was bohemian chic um, so all of these flowers are handmade paper flowers made out of cardstock paper that I just picked up from Michaels this was my first time making paper flowers and it took me a very long time to do it but we saved a ton of money um, by doing it myself and not actually purchasing them from Etsy or online um, the letters we purchased from AC Moore and I spray painted them gold and the dream catchers came from Ross and they were $9.99 each. The antlers that you see, I got those, if you watch my previous after Christmas sale haul from Target, I got those on sale for like $5 each at Target and I felt like they went with the theme. And then the back of the board is actually a, a panel of a fence that we uh, cut down to be six feet to be the same width as the table and then we stained it a gray stain to match the colors of the shower. And here are those centerpieces that I previously showed you. Um, they did take a while to make because I had to hot glue each and every flower and leaf on there individually as you saw, but they turned out great. They matched the Bohemian Chic theme very well. and We were able to uh, use exactly the colors that we wanted to tie in with the theme. Under the TPs, we just went to Dollar Tree and got an LED candle and stuck them under. And to greet our guests as they arrived, we put an easel by the door and I got this actual wooden frame from Ross. It held a 16 by 20 size photo and I embellished it with the same florals that I used um, around the room for the other decor for the teepees, uh, centerpieces, and also for uh, the floral swags that went on the uh, guest of honor table. And also as you'll see in another clip, I also used those same florals to embellish the garland around the gift teepee that we used. And this table was a big hit. This was our fruit bar. Um, this baby shower, we decided to have brunch instead of lunch or dinner. And we had waffles and chicken and, um, you know, macaroni and cheese and uh, turkey sausage and potatoes. And for uh, a nice treat for I guess we decided to have a fruit bar where they could garnish their waffles with whipped cream and different fresh fruits. And as you can see, I labeled all of our menu items with a chalkboard uh, clip signs that I found at Ross. They were $2.99 for I think a pack of eight. So I bought a couple of packs when I saw them. And then these other um, larger chalkboards just came from Ross and also Target. Okay guys, so here was our beverage center or our drink station and we decided to just keep it simple with two drinks. We had an infused water and then we had a specialty drink that was special to um, the mommy to be's family. And uh, we coordinated all of the service tables with you know the green and the blue and gold uh, ribbon balloon bouquets and we also uh, used pictures the maternity pictures of the mom throughout the uh, room as decoration and as you can see um, I also embellished those smaller frames that I picked up from Walmart I believe for three dollars I embellished those frames with the same florals that matched the different florals around the room and then those um, 
burlap signs i've had those and i just painted over the letters that i had before they were pink for another event and i painted over them blue and changed the florals out on the end pendants and uh, they matched this uh, baby shower very well Okay guys, this was the uh, family guest of honor table for the mom and dad to be again and their current son. I apologize for the lighting um, in the room. It was a little weird at times, so some pictures are darker than others. But as you can see, we also put the balloon bouquets on either end of the table here. There were also some small uh, lanterns that I embellished with the same florals. And also I picked up a few baby bottles from the Dollar Tree filled those with the blue marbles and then embellished those with the same florals. Now that floral swag you see on the front of the table, I did make that, it didn't come that way. That was actually just a, a greenery bouquet that I purchased from Michaels and cut all of the um, the, the branches or, or the stems off of it, laid them in a swag formation and hot glued them together and then added the florals to that. And here's another look at the dessert um, table. We kept it simple um, with this shower. This was their second baby. So we decided to just have cake and um, specialty cookies. And the cookies actually tied in with the theme. They were onesies, they were um, dream catchers, they were teepees, things of that sort that tied in with the theme. Um, and then the cake was two layers. It was a strawberry layer and then a plain vanilla uh, or yellow cake layer and both of those uh, desserts were a big hit. We had plenty uh, to go around and uh, the guests seemed to really really enjoy the dessert. Sometimes when you have too many desserts you're left with a lot and and the guests really don't know what to try but the cake and cookies were perfect. Here's a closer look at the dessert table. As you can see the cookies, we had feathers, um, we had onesies and teepees. They were really a big hit. Um, and I, again, I just took some decor that I already had at home, uh, the antlers for my Christmas decor. Those uh, chalkboards also came from Target, as I previously mentioned. Here's a closer look at the baby bottles that I embellished with the same florals. And the florals we brought from Michaels and also the majority of them came from Walmart. And they were very, very affordable at Walmart. I think you got a huge bouquet of the florals for $3 and $5. So I just brought a ton of those and then use wire uh, cutters to cut off the uh, the actual florals. And then um, a lot of the cake stands came from the Target dollar spot and those uh, wooden gray crates, they were already stained that color, which was perfect. And I got them on clearance at Ross. Okay guys, here's the other thing that stole the show, the cake. It was a total show stopper. We got the cake topper off of Etsy. It's not edible, but it was the perfect size for a cake topper and it went with the theme. The colors just so happened to be right. And the uh, Etsy shop also sent some of those small flowers and those arrows that you see on the top of the cake. Now our baker did all of the dream catchers that are on the cake and also those feathers that you see sticking out of the top layer. We did a two tiered cake um, and the baker also used some of the silk flowers that coordinated with all of the other decor throughout the shower and embellished the cake with those as well.
And here was a Pinterest idea that we found um, that we loved and went with the theme. We ordered a TP, a child's TP from, I believe, Amazon or Walmart I think it was around $50 and I brought a plain leaf garland from Michaels and embellished it by hot gluing the uh, florals that coordinated throughout the shower um, onto the garland and then just wrapped it around the top now that hanging chalkboard was from the Target dollar spot we just you know wrote gifts on it with chalk and all the guests knew to put their gifts in the teepee and it was also another hit And here's a final photo of the mommy and daddy to be times two because this is baby number two for them, my bestie. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers and I'm so, so, so excited. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you decide to throw a baby shower or any type of an event and you ever want to share some of the photos with me, I'd be happy to receive them in my email or just tag me on Instagram. My information is in the next screen.